Adipose connective tissue. These slides are made for Anatomy 10A Lab at Mount San Antonio College. There are four main tissue types in the body, epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissues, and nervous tissue. Here we're going to focus on connective tissue. Let's review connective tissue. They are categorized by scatter cells. You will see sometimes proteins in the matrix, which is outside the cells. In fact, the matrix can be liquid, semi-solid, or solid. And connective tissues are found under epithelial layers, under epithelial tissue. It's never on the surface, because if it's on the surface, it will be epithelial tissues. Here's the organization chart of the different connective tissue we have in the body. We have three types of connective tissue, connective tissue proper, supportive connective tissue, and fluid connective tissue. If we have connective tissue proper, it comes in two types, loose and dense. Because we're talking about adipose tissue, let's focus on the loose column. Loose means that it has few fibers, but a lot of ground substance. And an example obviously would be adipose. So let's go there next. This is a picture of adipose tissue. Now remember, adipose is fat. So in your mind, as you think about fat cells, you would expect them to be round in shape, right? Because they're fat. Indeed they are. They live up to their name. These are round cells. And uh, most of the time when you talk about a cell, we want to see a nucleus. And here it is. That's the nucleus. That's the nucleus. But notice, the other cells don't have nuclei. And you must be wondering, well, gee, why is that? Well, keep in mind, this looks like a circle on a two-dimensional surface, but in reality, it's actually a sphere. It's a ball. And when it's a ball, it's just full of fat, because that's the purpose of a fat cell. It's to store fat. So, because it's so full of fat, the nucleus is pushed to the side. So sometimes the nucleus is above the screen, and sometimes the nucleus is behind the screen. So at any given moment when we make a cut, it's just by luck that we have to cut through the nucleus. But it doesn't mean that, uh, that the cell has no nucleus. It's just the cell does have a nucleus, but it's not on the cut surface. Okay. Uh, by the way, a fat cell is called a dipocyte. Okay, that's on your list to know. Okay, so please don't write fat cell, write a dipocyte. And uh, where is it located? Well, we have fat tissue under skin. We have around kidneys and, and uh, around the eyeballs uh, and in the breast tissue as well. Okay, so let's go and look some more at a dipocyte. That's the word right there, a dipocyte. So instead of saying fat cell from now on, say a dipocyte. And here is what it looks like as a drawing, and that's in real life. So let's go to high power. Okay, now this is a drawing, obviously, and it's a little bit of exaggeration because they show way too many nuclei. Okay, remember, uh, in real fat tissue, you will not see every single cell having a nucleus like that. So here you go. Here's an image of adipocyte, that's the fat cell, okay, so the whole thing is an adipocyte. But you only see the nucleus every once in a while, like here might be a nucleus for this cell. Now on your list, parts of the cell that you have to recognize, in addition to the cell nucleus, would be obviously cell membrane, which you already know, okay, so plasma membrane, that you already know. But unique to adipocyte is something called vacuoles. Vacuole is like a bag, okay, it's an organelle that stores fat. And because of a dipocyte, all they do is store fat. The entire cell is mostly the fat vacuole. So please don't confuse this. Let's so say we were pointing to a cell and we say name this structure. Don't say cytoplasm. It's not cytoplasm. It's a vacuole, okay. It's storing fat. It's a structure, it's an organelle to store fat, and that's what most of the dipocyte is, is the vacuole. Very little nucleus is seen. Here's another look at adipocyte uh, and, and fat tissue. Okay, so each one of this is an adipocyte, 
Every once in a while, you might see, you know, possible nucleus. But uh, remember, nucleus is hard to find in uh, adipose. Here's another look. And here, you might see a little bit of a nucleus there, a little bit of nucleus there, there, there. But you can definitely see the plasma membrane pretty well. Okay, plasma membrane pretty well. And the whole cell is, you know, okay, inside the cell, that's not cytoplasm. Inside the cell is fat vacuole, okay, vacuole. Here's another look at fat, okay. Hopefully you get the hang of it. It's pretty simple. Round structure with not a whole lot of nuclei. Here's one, maybe another one. Okay, but it's not plentiful. The stuff out here, by the way, this is not uh, part of, um, of the adipocyte. This is fibrous tissue. It's also connective tissue, but a different kind. Here's another look. All of these are adipose, comprised of adipocyte or fat cells. This, by the way, is a blood vessel. Okay, it's a blood vessel. Make sure you can identify nucleus, cell membrane or plasma membrane, and fat vacuole. Here's another look at adipose. Each of this is an adipocyte. Okay, adipocyte. Here's another look of fat connective tissue. Some more fat to look at. More of the same. And here, once again, remember, you don't see a whole lot of nuclei in fat tissue. Here's high power, okay? High power adipocytes. One fat cell, one fat cell, one fat cell. If we ask you to name this tissue, i like you to say it adipose connective tissue. Please include the word connective tissue at the end so that you know it's connective tissue. Um, here might be a nucleus right here. So this whole maybe 10 cells or so, you might find one, two, three nuclei. Okay, that's gonna help you distinguish it from simple squamous epithelium. This is simple squamous epithelium. This is not adipose tissue. What gives it away? The nucleus. Here there are way too many nuclei. Why? Because this is actually one cell, right? This, this is a nucleus of a simple squamous cell. Okay, whereas if it's, if it's adipose, this whole thing is just one cell. Okay, in simple squamous, this whole thing is, is an air space, air sac in the lungs. Okay, so please be careful. At first glance, they might look very similar but they're not the same thing. Pay attention, pay attention to the nucleus and that would help you get the right answers.